In this video, I'm going to teach the easiest run defense or the simplest run defense that you can use um, in Madden 23. This is going to showcase a defense that actually Henry utilized in the Ultimate Kickoff Tournament to slow down some of Noah Up Next's running game. And you're going to see that it's actually, like I said, it's a pretty straightforward uh, setup and tip, but you're going to see like... I think the why uh, behind this defense being the most effective run defense right now, it's very simple to set up. It stops every, pretty much every basic run. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can adapt it as well if you're ever having issues with specific runs. And um, it comes out of one of the most meta defenses in the game right now, which is the nickel over. Now, the nickel over, we released an ebook about a week ago teaching the ins and outs of how to run this defense. And it's since then become probably one of the top two or three metas right now in the game. And if you want to learn that entire defensive ebook, links in the description for our Patreon. Patreon members get access to everything. We have nine offensive and defensive ebooks out right now. And we have another one that we're going to be dropping this week for you guys um, that I think you're going to really like. And we actually are going to be dropping yet another one next week so uh, that we're working on right now as well. But the play that we're going to be breaking down as far as a really good run defense um, is the play over Storm Brave. Now, you could do this out of other plays as well. Uh, I, I think Cover 4 Quarters is one of the best run defenses. Uh, Cover 3 Sky is actually really underrated this year. Cover 1 Hole, of course, is a great one. Uh, but it's really simple to set this defense up. All we're going to do is we're just going to pinch our linebackers. So when we come out, we're going to pinch our linebackers. And then we're going to kind of use her the safety that's on the running back. And if we wanted to, we could man the running back up, but that's basically all we really have to do. And what you're gonna notice is the gaps will be very easy to shoot, and you'll basically be able to kind of fill the, the, the natural lanes that you see coming up here. So you'll see here, again, I won't actually come down. I'm just gonna let the play run. You see how they push up really fast and do a really, really, really good job of, of kind of setting the edge. Now, a little pro tip for this defense, if you want this defense to work even better, what you can also do is you can contain, if you're not too worried about the pass rush aspect of this, and you're really just trying to stop the run, you can contain, and what you'll notice is at the snap of the ball, I'm gonna click my right joystick in, and this will help kind of create a little bit more effective natural sheds within the defense. It's kind of something that's been in Madden for a while, the clicking the right joystick in against the run. Um, so literally like your right stick here, um, you're just gonna like press it in like you would click it in to send a spy for example um, That's what you're gonna do. So you see here just click it in you see here. I'm just gonna come over here and help out And be able to stop the run that way now another thing that I did want to quickly uh, speak to is the power of match coverage as a run defense within this defense and the reason that this is so powerful is because of the fact that the man to man as you just saw there's a little bit of like a natural uh kind of runoff that you'll get in man to man it's why if you're running a predominantly man to man scheme this year uh, a lot of people really do like to go ahead and try to you know basically attack it like that uh, but we're going to show you right here a really effective way to utilize match coverage match coverage combines the best of man coverage and zone coverage within a defense and it really focuses on reacting to the actual routes that your opponent runs not just kind of what you draw up on the whiteboard really effective coverage defense uh, but you see here again just pinch the linebackers we're going to use this weak side safety into the box if you wanted to show blitz you'll notice that in this formation it just gets more people down into the box and we're just going to run a couple of runs here we'll start with power o uh, again you see how just naturally the edge is really um, held well within this nickel over formation and you're able to stop pretty much every run without having to do a ton uh, you really don't have to do a ton if you show blitz as i said you can get these safeties down in the box and you see how we're creating those natural sheds by clicking that right joystick in as soon as the ball is snapped i'll click it in several times and again my primary job what's really nice about this run defense my primary job is sim simply to roll to the ball I'm not trying to manually just absolutely destroy the run. I'm just trying to kind of keep everything in front of me, as you see right here, and let the let the sheds, let the defense do the work. Don't get yourself where you're overworking your, your defense. I think that that's a common mistake when people try to stop the run. They try to do everything themselves 
and then they find that there are issues. Now, another thing that can help with setting the edge is to actually spread your defensive line. If you're ever really having a, a ton of issues with the run, I'll do something like this, and you see how these linebackers, what it does is it draws these natural double teams on the defensive tackles, and it allows your defensive ends to set the edge, and then it allows your linebackers to kind of be the stars, uh, to, to kind of be the stars in the run defense, as you can see. Um, so you see here just kind of expanding the D-line. Now if they run like a dive, dive is really the only run. But as you can see with my user, the gap is wide open for me to be able to shoot down and be able to defend it. So uh, this also works for shotgun runs, which I'll show you one of the best shotgun runs in the game. And I think this was a run that Noah actually used in his, uh, in his game against Henry for the title of Ultimate Kickoff Champion. Uh, and it was this halfback counter out of trips tight end. So you'll see here again, just simply pitching of the line. Um, and then from there, what you'll notice is you see that little natural lane. Well, that defensive end is able to blow that up because of where he's at on the formation. And then if we were to spread the defensive line, you'll notice it should be even more effective. You see here, I'm just kind of steering him towards the guy there. I kind of messed up my user, but you see the idea. Now with shotgun runs, you still, I think, get a lot of value out of crashing out. Uh, and what you'll see is against crashing out, this A-gap's wide open for me to just use or shoot this as well. But the bottom line is the nickel over, I think, is probably at this point in the game, most dominant defense because it's dominant against the pass and it's dominant against the run. If you want to get my full ebook on this, make sure that you're a Patreon member. And like I said in the intro, it's only 10 bucks to sign up. It'll get you access to everything. And we're actually getting ready to throw some updates your way uh, as pertains to this nickel over defense, different ability setups you can use, different styles. This is a formation that you can actually run in several different ways. And we'll break all that stuff down for you in our Patreon. So if you want to learn the ins and outs of this defense or any of the other stuff we have over there, Make sure you join the Patreon at the link in the description below. It's only $10, like I said, and uh, we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.